Hello, Lana. Welcome to our revision for the Human Resource uh, Management paper. Uh, my name is Dr. Evan Sagwa, and uh, we are uh, revising the CASNEB paper that was done on 25th May 2016, Human Resource Management, the paper for CASNEB. We will look at question uh, uh, three. Three, we read it. Then we look at uh, sample responses. Uh, question three uh, required the candidate to answer the question in three parts. And uh, question 3A reads, distinguish between placement and induction, two marks. Question B, employee resourcing in today's organizations is being affected by various factors. Examine four of these factors, eight marks. C, explain the five steps to be followed in the process of succession planning, five marks. Total marks for question three, 15 marks. Uh, question A has uh, two aspects. And uh, the first aspect is uh, placement, and the second aspect is induction. So we we'll look at question 3A. Uh, question 3A, distinguish uh, between uh, placement, uh, placement and uh, induction induction and this question has two marks before we look at the question <clears throat> it is important to understand uh, the two aspects that the question is uh, asking there is the placement and there is induction uh, the aspect of uh, placement normally takes place in an organization when an organization has uh, recruited an employee has selected that employee and now a decision has to be made in terms of the available positions which position can this employee fit and be able to make uh, optimum contribution to the organization among the available positions that the employee can fit in so the aspect of uh, employee placement deals with uh, putting or fixing an employee in a given position in a given job depending on the skills the employee has. The aspect of induction deals with uh, the introducing or socializing an employee to a job. And the other name for induction is orientation. So we can briefly say that uh, placement uh, is the process, is the process of uh, fitting an employee uh, into a job among various jobs, uh, various jobs that an employee uh, can perform. So that is the aspect of uh, placement. So going through that again, uh, placement is the process of fitting an employee into a job among various jobs that an employee can perform. For instance, in the human resource department, an employee can be able to perform the job of a training officer, can be able to perform a job of uh, employee relations officer, can be able to perform the job of uh, employee welfare officer. So among those three, if the employee has the qualifications and the attributes to be able to perform that job, when the employee <laughs> is fitted, into one of those particular jobs, then that is said to be placement. Now, on the other hand, induction, on the other hand, induction uh, is the process, is the process of introducing an employee uh, usually 
a new employee a new employee in a role to other employees other employees and the work environment the work environment so what this implies is that we have said that induction can sometimes also be referred to as orientation so induction is the process of introducing an employee usually a new employee in a role to other employees or to other employees and the work environment and in most cases this happens when an employee has been recruited into a given job so this is a sample response for the question that is asking the candidate to distinguish between placement and induction so that is question 3a then question 3b required that the candidates uh, address the aspect of that uh, employee resourcing in today's uh, organizations uh, is being affected by various factors examine four of these factors and the question had uh, eight marks so question 3b uh, employee resourcing uh, employee resourcing uh, in today's uh, in today's organizations uh, organizations is being uh, affected is being affected by various factors various factors examine examine four of these factors so this question had eight marks so looking at the question again uh, employee resourcing in today's organizations <coughs> is being affected by various factors examine four of these factors so when it comes to the <laughs> the aspect of employee resourcing this is the process of searching for prospective employees encouraging them to apply for jobs in a given organization selecting these employees and deploying them to positions so what are some of the aspects that could be affecting uh, this process so firstly technology uh, technology uh, secondly diversity diversity thirdly uh, trade unions uh, trade unions uh, fourthly uh, compensation or reward management reward management so we could be able to look at some of these aspects the question required for so when it comes to the aspect of technology in terms of employee resourcing uh, increasingly uh, organizations are using online online methods this might be for advertising advertising shortlisting shortlisting and also using technology for uh, interviewing interviewing and also communication purposes communication so what this implies is that as changes take place in technology the resourcing strategies and techniques are also changing where organizations are using online techniques previously they were mainly using face to face and uh, advertising shortlisting interviewing communication to the applicant is basically being done through uh, technolo technological means where you can be able to, to carry out uh, an interview through teleconferencing, for example, from a long distance and still takes place. Now, the aspect of diversity, we have unskilled, unskilled, skilled. We have uh, the uh, aspect of age, 
aspect of gender, aspect of nationality, aspect of culture, uh, culture, among others. So unskilled workers, skilled workers, aspects of age, young workers, older workers, aspect of gender, male, female, nationality, culture, all these aspects are uh, impacting on how employee resourcing is done. For instance, many countries have come up with issues of gender balance. So when employee resourcing is being done, for instance, in the public sector, you have to ensure that you at least meet the one-third rule, such that one either gender, you must at least have that representation. When it comes to aspects of trade unions, trade unions are very particular. And when it comes to the process of employee resourcing, organizations might also want, for instance, to reduce staff. And when it comes to trade unions, now aspects are like uh, employee, employee reduction. Because in terms of employee resourcing, you want to achieve particular numbers. And if you want to achieve particular numbers, you may want to reduce staff. And if you are reducing staff, employee reduction, like the process of uh, declaring redundancies. Redundancies. So when an organization has to declare a redundancy, uh, unions, trade unions can oppose that process. They can oppose that particular process of uh, declaring redundancies. And when they oppose that process, that kind of opposition normally creates a problem and an organization can remain with more staff than it requires in relation to that. When it comes to reward management strategies, competitiveness, competitiveness, uh, you also have industry practice, industry practice, you also have rates, now, these uh, aspects of uh, compensation, competitiveness, and industry practice, organizations are increasingly losing workers or offering reward management strategies that uh, attract workers in what is sometimes called poaching. So through poaching, an organization can offer reward management or rewards that are better than what the employee is currently earning. And in that case, they are able to carry out that particular resources through what we call also headhunting. Uh, headhunting processes, which are basically linked to rewards that workers are given, and that is also affecting uh, employee resourcing in the industry today. Then question 3C. Question 3C required that the candidate explains the five steps to be followed in the process of succession planning, five marks. So question 3C, explain the five steps, uh, five steps uh, to be followed, to be followed in the process, uh, process of succession planning succession uh, planning succession planning uh, five marks uh, five marks so the question requires that the candidate explains uh, the five steps to be followed in the process of succession planning so what are these five steps the five steps the first one is uh, identification identification of critical positions critical positions uh, to be filled uh, to be filled the second one identification identification of competencies uh, competencies required required the third one, uh, implementation, implementation before implementation is identification, identification of succession, 
succession management management strategies uh, strategies the fourth one implementation implementation of succession uh, management action plans action plans and then fifthly five evaluation evaluation of uh, succession uh, succession um, planning effectiveness effectiveness so <clears throat> the question required that the candidate explains the five steps to be followed in the process of succession planning so the first aspect is identification of the critical positions that are supposed to be filled this could for example be <clears throat> a manager could be for example accountant position or company secretary position so once uh, the two positions have been identified then it is important to identify competencies that could be required to fill those particular positions for instance if it is the accountant's position then someone is supposed to have certain competencies certain skills and certain training in relation to accounting if it is a company secretary then this particular individual could for example have done a cs or a certified secretary's course and has also done other courses and has certain experiences and competencies for that particular position then identification for the competencies required once those uh, competencies have been identified maybe through job analysis or through other mechanisms then the next step is identification of succession management uh, strategies for example it could be on the job training on the job training or under study where the individual who is holding that particular job is told to understudy uh, an individual who could for example be leaving or is supposed to be promoted to be able to learn that particular position's activities when that manager is still in position then implementation of succession uh, management action plans so if uh, uh, understudy is the method that is going to be used in succession planning in that area then these uh, can be now uh, implemented where the person is attached to that particular position then evaluation of succession planning effectiveness in this case if uh, uh, understudy was being used in this case after a period of time an evaluation is done to find out whether that uh, action plan has been effective so this is a sample response that can be built on to be able to respond to the question that is asking the candidate to explain the five steps to be followed uh, to be followed in the process of succession planning so we can quickly go through uh, the question this was question 3a uh, of uh, the Kassner paper of may 2016 that required the candidates to be able to distinguish between placement and induction and uh, here we have said that uh, placement is the process of fitting an employee into a job among various jobs that an uh, employee can be able to perform an employee can be an assistant manager in charge of for example human resource training or welfare so fitting that employee into one of those positions for optimum performance is what we have indicated here that that is uh, placement then induction process is the process of introducing an employee usually a new employee to a new role or other employees that that particular employee will be working with and also introducing that employee to the working environment in the process of uh, socializing this particular employee to fit into that particular uh, assignment or that particular job and uh, we have indicated that induction sometimes is also referred to as orientation so that is uh, what could be given for that particular question that wanted the candidate to uh, distinguish between uh, placement and induction that is question 3a then question 3b required that the candidate 
uh, respond to the question that is asking, employee resourcing in today's organizations is being affected by various factors. Examine four of these factors. And we have given the question had eight marks. And we have discussed here that there would be four factors like this. And uh, technology could be one of the aspects that uh, uh, influence employee resourcing in today's uh, organizations. And in this case, the methods and techniques that are used to recruit could be online methods. Advertising can be done using technology. Shortlisting of candidates can be done using technology. Communication to the candidates can also be done using technology. And this one helps in fast tracking the process of employee resourcing. And many organizations are increasingly using this uh, uh, technology. Then the aspect of diversity. And uh, here we have discussed the aspect of unskilled workers, skilled employees, issues of age, young employees, older employees, issues of the gender, male and female, and sometimes organizations like in the public sector have to comply with the one-third gender requirement, issues of nationality, where individuals are being recruited. It may be specified the need to be of a, of a particular nationality, aspects of culture, and the diversity also influence how employee resourcing is being done. Then trade unions, we have discussed that when uh, an organization intends to achieve optimum numbers in terms of staff and it has extra uh, employees, uh, if they would want to reduce workers through redundancies or layoffs, trade unions will oppose the move and this sometimes makes organizations to remain with staff whom they actually don't need, who are superfluous to their requirements and that may again influence employee resourcing. Then reward management strategies that organizations are using. So competitiveness, industry practices, issues of rates in terms of payment, issues of poaching, issues of headhunting, these have greatly influenced how employee resourcing is done because organizations make offers to workers and if they are working in a given environment and they are not satisfied, they can very easily be poached to organizations that are giving them better terms and that uh, could be a response that can be used to be able to discuss and enhance understanding to the aspect of employee resourcing in today's environment. That was question 3B. Then question 3C required that the candidate explain the five steps to be followed in the process of succession planning. And the first step was identification of uh, critical positions to be filled in a given organization, uh, which we indicated you could have an accountant's positions or a certified uh, secretary position and so on. Then uh, once that is identified, an organization moves to the next step, identification of the competencies required, like in this case, uh, CPA training or CS training could be useful for these uh, two positions and other competencies. Then identification, the third one, identification of success, uh, succession management strategies. This we indicated could be aspects like on-the-job training or understudy programs, which can be undertaken or implemented. And once those have been identified to be the most suitable, then that leads, leads us to the fourth uh, step, which is the implementation of succession management action plans that is now implementing the issue of uh, employee being trained on the job or an employee understanding a superior with an intention of understanding and also taking over that, that position or training them. Then lastly, the fifth one, evaluation of uh, succession planning effectiveness. So what an organization does in this, it reviews the four, the four steps up here, sees where they have been effective, that can be sustained or enhanced, and where it has not worked, remedial measures are also taken. So that uh, is the fourth, uh, that's the fifth step in the question that required that candidates explain the five steps uh, to be followed in the process of succession planning. So dear Lana, uh, this uh, has been a response to the question of uh, the Kastner paper of uh, Wednesday, 25th May, uh, 2016, uh, Human Resource Management for the CS Part 3, uh, Section 5, 
where the candidates were expected to respond to the question and we have discussed and we hope this can help you in your preparation process not only to answer questions but to grasp the concepts to grasp the, to grasp the knowledge to be able to apply this to real work environment situations to make uh, a good of the human resources of an organization which is the most important resource an organization has so continue revising in our next lesson we shall be able to revise uh, question 4 Thank you very much for, lis uh, for listening and observing.